Hello and welcome back to Your Average Bear Gaming. I am George. Today, we're gonna open up a little something that I got. Well, this stuff. It's Army Painters Speed Painting Line. I just got the very smallest set they had. Um, I am not a big user of contrast paints. So this isn't really my thing, but it's new. It's from Army Painter, which I'm a huge fan of. So I thought, let's give it a shot. But, but, I know you've seen this on everybody else's channel. Everyone who's do who does any painting of Warhammer or models uh, has already got an advanced copy of this like months ago. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> so, mine is gonna be a little bit different. Instead of comparing this stuff against Citadel Colors version of contrast paints, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare this stuff against my normal paint line. And here's why. I've seen contrast paints for a while. I, I, I've known that they're out there. I've seen people do it. I've seen examples of people painting their models with, with contrast paints. And they look fine. Clearly they do a lot of the same things that my base coat glazing does. So my quick painting techniques are basically like using contrast paints in that I use the base coat glaze and it kind of helps the undercoat show through a little bit. Speed paints, contrast paints, they seem to do a lot of the same things, but there's a key difference in that the pigments to me look super weird. like. There's the red paint, and that looks like the red I expect, and then there's the red from the contrast paint, and it looks weird and orangey, and I don't like it. So I haven't bought any. I think maybe today is the day I at least give it a shot. So I'm gonna compare this stuff up against my normal quick paint techniques and see how they stack up. Are the colors actually weird or is it just a weird glitch in my head? Who knows? Let's find out. And to do that, I went out to my local friendly game store and picked up some of these. Now, uh, so these are uh, Terminator Assault squads. I need another batch of Space Marines like I need an extra hole in my head. Which is to say, I don't need any more. Um, but I haven't built any of these, like a squad of these. Um, so, I'm going to test these contrast paints using this kit, and it's not going to be black. I'm going to paint up some Blood Angels, I'm going to paint up some Dark Angels, I'm going to paint up maybe some Imperial Fists, and see how these contrast paints stack up against the quick painting. Do I have your attention? Is this something you want to see? I hope so. Let's check it out. So, I got this uh, relatively recently, and I'm normally pretty excited about getting something new for uh, this hobby that we all uh, love and sometimes hate so much. Uh, I got it despite the fact that I didn't need any, any paints. I have a ton of paints. I have more paints than I need. And I don't use contrast paints. But this nagging idea in my head that said, well, you don't use these, but maybe you should. Maybe this is going to be the thing to elevate your painting to the next level, or at least make it a little easier, a little faster, right? So what if you could use these instead of mixing up your own uh, glazes? So I picked them up, and I thought, let's give them a shot, uh, in spite of my reservations. So let's open it up and see what the packaging is like. And once we do that, I'll talk about the plan for this video. So, uh, the box contains uh, this little kind of ad, but also kind of guide. Uh, it does warn you to shake the paints. It also um, says after you shake briefly, you empty the top medium. Uh, which is interesting. I hadn't seen that before. Uh, so maybe it's going to be separated a bit uh, at first. Who knows? 
we'll, uh, we'll play it by ear. Uh, it's also got a uh, helpful little message here on how to take care of your brushes. Specifically here, I guess don't mash them flat. Good advice, Ar uh, Armory Painter, good advice. Speaking of, this kit came with uh, an Armory Painter brush. Uh, I've never used an Armory Painter brush, but it has a nice, uh, has a nice point to it, so maybe I'll give it a shot. And then here are the paints. And if you have Army Painter paints, you'll know that the caps give you information kind of at a glance. And so, so far, I've seen three types of caps. There's the white one. This is just your normal paint. There's this black one, this means metallic, and then there's this, the, the red one, this means um, this is a shade or a, a, a wash. Quick shade is what they call it here. And so now, these have a silver cap to denote them as these are speed paints. Cool, good to know. So, what was included in my little pack? Uh, this was, it uh, looks like 10 paints. And so we've got Crusader Skin, Blood Red, Pallid Bone, High Lord Blue, Hive Dweller Purple, Zealot Yellow, Hardened Leather, Fire Giant Orange, Orc Skin, and Grave Lord Gray. Uh, these are some pretty basic colors, and they, uh, some of these are colors that I anticipate using quite a bit. Okay, so we've talked about, we've talked a little bit about these. Uh, I won't belabor the point about how co uh, contrast paints are different than other paints. Uh, you've seen other people's videos about these. You know what contrast paints are about. You may have uh, some already in your collection. Maybe if you don't have Army Painter, you probably have Citadel Color or one of the other companies that do this. So let's talk about the plan. So the whole idea is to compare. Uh, and in order to compare the contrast paints to our normal paints, well, specifically the, 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 the glazing and washes that I use, we need a model, we need some models to pick. And so here's what I've picked. So this is a brand new squad of Terminators. I didn't need any new Terminators, but I needed something to paint so I can test these um, adequately. And so the idea here is that we're going to take... Um, these models and we're going to paint one of them with a contrast paint and another one with a similar shade of my of my normal glazes and see what they look like so i've got here one set i've got here another set and because the pack of terminators is five this guy's by himself now i could have bought another pack of terminators but i really I don't need any more Space Marines, and I have to, once I paint them, I have to do something with them. So I thought, you know what, let's just get another Terminator that I have. So I dug into my Space Marine heroes, and I picked this guy out. He is pretty sure he's Brother Aramis from the Space Marines uh, uh, version 2, or 2nd edition, whatever that you know, we want to call it. He's just your normal, run-on-the-mill um, uh Terminator, but he's got a little bit more interesting stuff, and he's got this cool base. So I primed him. I figured he will be the contrast or the comparison point for this sergeant. So I've got three sets of two, which means I have some uh, some choices to make. So the idea is uh, I don't want to make them all the same. I want to test as many colors as I can, and so I can test three different colors. So what can I do? Well, I can use green, I could use yellow, okay, and we'll go with red. So I'm going to make something green, which means uh, dark, dark angels, something yellow, imperial fists, and something red, we'll go with um, uh, blood angels. Okay, uh, it's mean, that means there's a couple of colors I won't be able to test. That's fine. 
we'll do those some other time depending on how this goes. So now I have to pick a, uh, a color that, uh, that serves as a comparison point. Okay, so I've got Orc Skin versus Angel Green. I've got Zealot Yellow against Demonic Yellow and Blood Red against Dragon Red. And I've primed these guys with a little uh, skeleton bone uh, from Army Painter. Uh, the idea here is I want to make sure that they have a nice warm base coat so that the glaze will, uh, will so that the undercoat, so you can kind of see it uh, and it'll be a nice warm color uh, when the undercoat shows up. So I'm going to set up my wet palette, and I don't usually show you this step because that's probably not what you're interested in, but since we're going to do a side-to-side uh, -side comparison, I figured I'd show you how I do things. Now I'll prepare you, I don't do things the way the pros do it. Um, I do all my mixing uh, kind of uh, at the same time, and I find that that saves me time and hassle and helps me have more consistent results. It isn't the best approach to do um, if you're going to employ some of the more advanced techniques like blending and, and, and so on and so forth. Most people will have a glob of paint and then have a little glob of water or whatever and kind of mix it to the right strength. And it, it has a lot of advantages, but speedy, it's not. I'm about speedy, so I'm going to show you how I do it and I'll endure your jeers um, later. So right off the bat... I haven't had to include any of the the, the, steer, the steel steering balls in here. It looks like these have them pre-included. So I'm going to give it a good shake. And I'm going to put some red down on my palette. I don't know how much I'm going to need, so I'm going to go with a generous amount. Right below that, I'll have a glob of the red. And to prepare my glaze, I'm going to add two drops of water. Now the actual ratios here depend on how much you have on your palette or what have you, but this is my usual approach. And same amount of flow improver. Sometimes it's more water, sometimes it's less. Um, what is? Here's what I'm going to go with. So, I've got the red. I'm going to do the same thing with the green and with the yellow. I just won't show you the whole thing because who's got time for that? I am going to add one more color to my base, to my wet palette, and that is this dark brown, it's oak brown, and I'm using this as my initial base coat glaze. I know that seems a little weird since the reds and the yellows are going to be my base coat glaze, but I feel like I need something a little darker um, so that I have more control over the appearance of the yellow and the red. So, now that I've got all the, the drops of stuff that I need, I'm going to mix it all up. And I'm going to start adding this base coat glaze to the entirety of my model, except for maybe those things that I know for a fact are not going to be, um, you know, either red or yellow. Like I said before, this might seem like a weird step, um, having a base coat glaze for your base coat glaze, but so much of the quick painting depends upon having a, a base coat that complements uh, your model. 
that I think having a this brown is going to help both the yellow and the red uh, because I want to you know I want to introduce shadows um, and highlights and with speed painting the shadows are all about your undercoat a lot of people use black for their prime to give them that that sense of control I for me it depends on what color I'm ultimately going to make as my primary I think brown will work really well for both yellow and red I may be wrong we will find out so here are my models they have their initial base coat of brown and they look weird I don't think I have ever seen a brown space marine and that's okay they're not gonna stay brown this is just so that my uh, my real base coat glaze looks good <clears throat> now I realized as I was doing this that maybe this wasn't a fair test of the speed paint because I've in essence put on another layer and <clears throat> that's really not what the speed paints are designed for right they're designed to just you prime it you slap on the speed paint and you're done uh, but I gonna be honest with you I don't trust the speed paints I've never used them before so it's probably what it, what it is but I don't trust them to do the job that um, that they're designed to do so I wanted to give them a kind of a step up Ah, I, so I probably shouldn't have done that, and maybe I'll do this again uh, in a, in a, uh, on a different day uh, without this thing. But, you know, for now, we could just pretend like, look, these are base coated in, 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 in brown, or these were primed in brown, and that's why they look the way they do. Um, so anyway, that's just something I thought of after I almost did all of them. Um, and I did uh, base coat glaze uh, all of them in that brown, uh, including the um, the Death Guard. I figured the the brown would be okay um, with, uh, you know, as an undercoat for the green. I don't know that for a fact. I may be overthinking this. Whatever. Okay, it is time to start with the actual speed paints. Right, so I have a brush that's damp, no actual moisture in. I'm going to start to lay down some of this color. And it feels quite a bit like the um, Army Painter uh, washes just kind of the viscosity and how it clings but it's actually kind of cool and there is my first Terminator with my first attempt with this uh, speed paint and I gotta say I don't hate it it looks pretty cool. It's a shade of red that I don't think I've ever seen before, and it's probably as a result of the undercoat, but it looks pretty good. Um, I, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm going to try my normal red and see what that looks like next to this guy. While my blood marines dry, I'm going to work on the yellow, the Imperial Fists. And I'm really nervous about those because the speed paint looks orange. I don't know what this is going to look like. Well, it actually looks yellow. But in this case, I think maybe my undercoat is hurting me rather than helping me. The yellow over the brown is kind of weird. So there's my Imperial Fist Terminator in the yellow. It's going to dry, so it's going to look a little different, but it looks yellow. It just looks a little weird. Um, this might 
need some additional touching up or this might need a different the different approach with the undercoating um, but it does look yellow so at least partial mission accomplished all right time for the green i have no idea what this is going to look like over brown Well, here are my Terminators, and uh, they look kind of weird. Um, I think part of it is my lack of experience in painting Space Marine armor that is anything other than black. Um, so we'll just kind of take these set by set. Here are my Blood Angels Terminators, and they, they don't look bad. Um, I kind of, I'm kind of digging it, but I'm not entirely sure. So of these two, one of these uh, was painted with the speed paint, the other was painted with a glaze of normal red paint. Um, can you tell which one is which? Maybe. So of these two, this guy was painted with speed paint, this was painted with the normal paint. And it's not bad. I think the I think the brown undercoat here really helped really both of them because there's there's a decent amount of shadows, uh, there's a decent amount of variation in the armor color. This looks like a deeper red. It's a bit more satisfying. One of my observations that I that I want to share with you as uh, I talk about these. When I used the speed paints, it didn't feel like I was adding a layer of paint over an existing layer of paint. It almost felt like as like, the brush went on, the speed paint was actually seeping into the previous layer and almost staining that existing layer. Uh, it, it's a weird sensation. It, I mean, you don't really feel it, but you kind of do. It's it's just the weirdest thing. It feels like it's like a like when you do a wood stain, the stain goes into the wood as opposed to you know, a layer of paint that goes on top of the wood. It's kind of how it felt, and, and I I'm having trouble articulating why I felt that way. Uh, but that's that was the the sensation, tactile as it you know as it were. It's not really tactile, but there it is, for lack of a better word, is tactile. Um, so you can kind of see where the, the the paint kind of collected in those uh, crevices, and it looks pretty good. Uh, I almost I almost don't think I need to do a wash over this guy. It's like a, it's like a base coat glaze and a wash in the same step. Here, I do need some shadows, but. I think for the next step, I am going to wash them, and I'm going to wash them both to see what they both look like. Like I said, it's probably unnecessary for this, but I want to see. There is still a bit of this candy red color as opposed to this red color here, and I don't know what it is that my eyes are picking up or that my brain is, in, is interpreting, but this has, I don't know if it's a saturation, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the translucency. It just feels... It, I don't know. It looks like a fake red. I don't know. It's weird. But for Blood Angels and Marines, that's probably going to work. Here are my Imperial Fists. And man, there's a huge difference here. Unlike with the previous color, this is like a, an eye-splitting yellow. And it's not, it's not a good look. <laughs> it's not a great look. Um, I'm hoping that a layer of wash over this is going to help, but I don't know what kind of wash. Maybe like a brown wash will work. Uh, here, this guy is the speed paint yellow, and it actually looks pretty cool. It doesn't really look yellow. It looks more gold or brown, and it might be because of the translucency, that brown color underneath, that base coat, is uh, the undercoat is looking, is kind of poking through. Um, and it almost looks more orange than yellow. Uh, 
So I don't know. I don't know if this is the way to go. I will wash both of these and see what that looks like to see if that improves things at all. And this is my last batch. This is supposed to be Dark Angels Green. And they kind of look close, but they kind of don't. This guy right here is Speed Painter, and he looks like a candy. Uh, I don't know how else to describe it. It's not that it's too bright. I don't know. This is the normal paint glaze. It looks pretty okay. Definitely could use some wash, but it's not bad. So, the next step is washes. I'm going to hit this guy with a green wash, the Blood Angels with a red tone, and then this guy with like a, a soft tone or something like that, like a brown. Uh, hopefully that makes this guy look m less eye-splitting yellow and this, I don't know. We'll see. The washes are dry, and uh, I did learn a few things. Um, so, the washes do help, but really only with the, um, oops, there we go. So the washes do help, but only with the uh, normal acrylics. Uh, the washes did almost nothing. They did almost nothing at all with the contrast paints. It's almost like the contrast paints are base coat and wash all in one. That makes sense. It's supposed to make your, your painting uh, a faster uh, affair. So that really makes sense. <sighs> Having said that, um, my initial assessment, my initial evaluation of the speed paints, well, they, you know, they do the job, right? They do the job that they say they're going to do. They're fast, and especially if you don't take the extra time, uh, I think, like to do the extra base coat, um, I could have made, I could have finished these models much faster. Um, having said that, I think the base coat color that you use, whatever you prime this with, if you're not going to add a base coat layer underneath the uh, speed paint, I think that's going to make a huge difference. Uh, maybe things look better if uh, I use a white primer. Uh, I don't know what they would look like if you use a black primer. Uh, that sounds like something that I need to continue to investigate. But overall, while it does the job, it looks weird. This green is a weird green. I don't want an army of green pretend soldiers that looks like this. Um, yeah, you get the shadows, yeah, you get the highlights, but you end up with a weird green model. <laughs> Look at what is supposed to be an Imperial Fist. It looks kind of gross. Um, and yeah, there's no way I want Imperial Fists to look like this. Technically, they're yellow, but man, man oh man. About the only one that I really did like, like just by itself, I think is this guy. This is the Blood, the Blood Angels, Blood Marine, whatever the hell they're called. Uh, the red actually looks pretty good. It looks like a usable red. I would field an army of Red Marines that look basically like this. Um... All right, so having said that, so I'm not a huge fan of the results of the contrast paints. But my normal paint isn't that much better. Look at this guy. Now, the washes did help. It brought down that, that ugly, bright yellow. It brought it down to something that's a bit more natural looking. But it's still kind of yellow-gross. Um... So, in this case, and in this case, using acrylic paints uh, didn't help me. Uh, it's just not weird in that, in that way. It's just, this is just not the right way to do things. Um, this guy, the Blood Marine, 
I think the red looks okay. I would, I could see myself using this. Um, so, I have just a couple of conclusions uh, that I want to share with my, this is, you know, granted, this is my initial uh, try, not only with contrast paints, it's also my first stab at making brightly colored space marines. Um, so, conclusion one, is that I need a ton more practice on doing brightly colored space marines. Um, even with techniques that I'm comfortable with, they look pretty gross. Um, I would have to, I'm mean, gonna have to experiment a bit more if I'm ever gonna really paint like a Blood Angels or an Ultramarine or you know, any of the other like really colorful marine armor types uh, because while they're technically the right color, um, yeah, I need some work. Um, the other thing I do want to point out, if you're interested in contrast paints, um, you have to be really, really careful with your undercoat. If you take a look at this guy, you can see a lot of patchiness on the red armor. And now the patchiness is normally something I like, except that it's a lot more accentuated uh, when you use contrast paints. This is a, the acrylic, and it's still a little patchy, um, but it's not as bad. So the translucency of the contrast paints uh, is going to force you to do a much better job with your initial undercoat. Uh, if I was going to do this again, and I'm going to, um, I would not use a... A base coat glaze over the prime. I think what I I think these paints will work better if you just prime. So you give it a nice even prime and then you hit it with a base coat glaze. Uh, I'm sorry, the the base coat with the uh, with the speed paint colors. I think you'll be better off. It'll be a more uniform red that you can then go and play with. Um, this is just uh, yeah, this is just not the way to go. Um, and finally, uh, the other thing that I... And I, I haven't experimented with this because um, this was not intended to, to take us to a full, complete model. In fact, my plan is to strip these and repaint them uh, with more experimentation in mind. I, 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 want to, I want to try to make these contrast paints work so that you could use them for quick painting... Um, uh, uh, you know, for quick painting your models. And so, once you have the base coat glaze, you're still going to need acrylic paints to add the details. I don't think that the using um, the speed paints to add the details in is going to work. Uh, the paints are just so translucent um, that you either have to get all of the colors right on your first pass. Um, so here, for example, if I wanted to add green to that laurel, which, you know, it could be a thing. Um, if I added the green speed paint, that would be a, 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 a mess. In fact, let's just take a quick look. Okay, my last comparisons, I promise, for this video anyway. Um, I went ahead and added just a few details um, and I stuck to the major uh, restrictions for each model. This guy was uh, detailed, or no, some details, with um, uh, only using the speed paints. This guy I use the acrylics uh, that I normally use, and in the way I normally use them. And so you can kind of see how the colors are a little weird even here, although yeah, I can kind of It'd be okay, right? So that, uh, that red and green are painted over the yellow um, of the thing, and it looks it looks okay. Still a little kind of weird looking. Uh, you'll notice the eyes, they don't really stand out. I did dot those eyes with the red. Um, here, uh, I used the, the black contrast paint, and it looks okay, but it's still kind of muted, you know? Um, it's weird. They're muted and kind of off at the same time. I don't quite understand what's happening. Um, the only thing that I'm pretty okay with is the black. This is the Grave Lord Gray, and uh, it's basically the uh, speed painting wash, uh, the speed painting black, and it looks all right. It looks pretty much like my normal black would look, as you can kind of see 
right here. This is the acrylic with the washes. It's a little darker, but overall it's about the same. Um, the, the red piece of the Thunder Hammer is uh, kind of orangey. That's probably because it, it's just the red and the undercoat. So combined um, the red and the, you know, the yellow base uh, of the primed part end up with a bit of an orange. That isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, that actually kind of gives me some hope for the red speed paint in, um, you know, if I do something different, uh, I might get a decent place to work on. Um, and so here's the acrylic painted shield. The eyes, they stand out quite a bit more. Um, so, you know, <laughs> um, right now, okay, so here, here are my closing my closing remarks for this video, and I'll just leave it at that. Uh, I am not an expert at, well, really anything. <laughs> um, but certainly, I'm not an expert at painting. Uh, I'm not an expert on uh, using speed paints. I'm not even an expert on my quick painting technique. I have lots and lots of stuff to learn. Um, what I can do is provide the perspective as a beginner, right? So I'm sort of a beginner, but not really... Ah, as a pretend beginner, let's just say, contrast paints are just another tool uh, in your painting toolkit. They're not the silver bullet. Yes, they're fast, but they're funny looking, and I suspect in order to make these work, you're going to have to do some experimentation, much like you would have to do to get decent at any other type of uh, painting techniques. So. Yeah, you'll get paint on your models really quick, but I don't know how I would, how I would field uh, how I would feel about fielding these guys. Um, not in this state. The red is passable. The green looks like it's uh, hanging on a storefront in Vegas. Um, so. I'm going to have to do some more work, experiment with these uh, contrast paints, these speed paints, to find a way to use them effectively, um, you know, to add to my collection. And since I don't want these in my collection, they're gross, both of them, uh, or both sets, they're gross. Um, there's only one thing left to do. Have a nice afternoon. Thank you for watching. Be nice to yourselves at each other. Peace.